AMC ran from $14 to $72 in a week. It took the Hedgies nine months to bring it from $72 back down to $13. The upward pressure is so powerful once it comes back around, patience apes. This is a really good point and it reminds us all of one important thing to remember when it comes to this AMC trade, and that's perspective. We have to zoom out and realize that it only took a short amount of time, relatively speaking, for, a for AMC to really start running up from $13 to $72 last year. And on the other hand, it took the Hedgies nine months to slowly do all that they could to chip away at AMC and drive it down from $72 to $13. And realistically speaking, all that did is allowed more and more AMC shareholders to acquire more shares for cheaper average costs. I don't know about you guys, but I've been able to lower my average cost quite a bit on my shares of AMC. We have to remind each other it's all about zooming out. Hedge funds that are not shorting probably know those who are committing the crime. The good old hedge funds or institutions should dope into the authorities, the bad hedge funds, as the name hedge fund has been tarnished now and in time. Investors will take their funds out of the hedge funds and will not reinvest later. The sooner the crime is stopped, the better it'll be for everything to get back to normal and for the reputation of the American stock market that can start healing to gain new trust as a new world leader. At this time and point, I have zero trust in the American stock market and the authorities that oversee it after seeing all the manipulation, especially the last few weeks where AMC stock price has been driven down by the short ladder attacks, even when SSR is turned on, is an utter disgrace to the American people. The American stock market has become a laughing stock of the world. How hedge funds can easily manipulate the stocks up and down, how Congress people can buy and sell shares with inside information and get away with it. It would now appear to retail investors that their rights in the, for the fair market is not being protected, and the rich 1% are selling from the poor that are not so well off. America is on the edge of a cliff. Retail investors who have flocked to the market over the last two years since the lockdown are now being ripped off and their funds stolen by the rich. The American stock market and the authorities that oversee it may lose if they have not already. The trust of the people will be lost. Companies who are the very backbone of the American economy rely on the stock market for funds to run their company and to get more funds to you know keep building their company. With retail investors becoming distrustful, of the stock market day by day, by all the manipulation being carried out by the market makers and hedge funds, these very companies may lose their investors and the American people in the up and coming years. It's a really good point here, guys. The stock market is an amazing tool for companies to basically utilize an open free market, let shareholders give them some money, build their companies in the background, and give the shareholders more money in return. That's how it's always seemed. But over the past few years, all this manipulation is starting to open up more and more Americans' eyes to how it really is. And in my opinion, it's going to take something big to turn this all around. I don't know exactly what that'll be. Maybe some new crackdowns, but it's going to have to be a big 180 from here. But if you want to stay up to date with everything else that's going on with AMC, because trust me, there's a lot more to go through, make sure to please subscribe to my channel with notifications turned on so you never miss out on a video. Also, drop a like in this video for some good luck moving forward for AMC. And lastly, go to the second link down below in my description and join my private exclusive Discord server. Thanks as always, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.